Hey guys, I am so excited to share this with you because this is a free Project O episode that we are doing for Black Friday weekend. Now, this video is gonna be deleted from YouTube in exactly 72 hours. So make sure you stick around till the end because we are doing something honestly completely insane for Black Friday weekend. You're gonna love this free Project O episode and I guarantee you the information in it is gonna get you laid many, many times. And remember, it's being deleted from YouTube in 72 hours. Last thing, if you want more free Project O episodes on our YouTube channel, then smash that like button and let us know. Enjoy the video. I have a question for you. What do you think the biggest reason is that guys don't wanna go out and improve their skills with women? The answer is they don't wanna experience the pain of anxiety or rejection. Simple as that. And I get it, anxiety sucks and rejection is not something that we're conditioned to enjoy. When you go out and approach a woman, it's, it's nerve wracking. What if I told you that I could teach you to not give a shit about rejection? What if I told you you could actually enjoy it? Listen, I used to have social anxiety so bad that I couldn't even go to the grocery store without my hands fucking shaking. It took me years to figure out what I'm about to teach you in this video, so pay attention. If I can go out and meet and date beautiful women without feeling anxious, so can you. Now, life isn't some romantic comedy. The shy, insecure guy doesn't end up getting the girl. That's just not how real life works. If you struggle with women, you need to get this part of your life handled, and I'm gonna show you how. So let's say you're out and you see a cute girl sitting and reading a book. What do you do? I'll bet you start to feel a little bit nervous. Your heart starts beating a little bit faster. Your mind starts telling itself things like, dude, you should probably go talk to her, she's cute. But then what happens? You start telling yourself things like, eh, she looks a little bit busy right now. I don't wanna disturb her. Or uh, maybe I'll see her around later and I'll talk to her then. And then just like that, you've completely destroyed all chances of her being a part of your life. You just missed out on potentially meeting the girl of your dreams. I mean, it could happen, right? So how do you fix this? How do you avoid letting your fear of rejection dictate the rest of your life? It's a simple trick, actually. So let's break this down. When you see a cute girl, you start to feel really nervous, which sucks, right? So what you need to do is change how your brain processes that information. Here's the trick. When you first feel that nervousness, when your hands just start to get sweaty and your heart starts to race a little bit, that is your signal to approach. That exact moment, not 30 seconds later, not 10 seconds later, not even two seconds later, that exact moment you need to go and start walking towards her. Once you do that enough times, your brain will start to reframe how it perceives nervousness. Instead of retreating and fleeing when you feel nervous, you're gonna take action. It's incredible actually. Eventually, when you do it enough times, nervousness will equal taking action. On top of that, the amount of anxiety you'll feel is gonna drop drastically. In fact, when you start to feel anxious, you're actually gonna get excited because you know something interesting is about to happen. Now, the only way to get to this point is by incorporating meeting and talking to new people into your everyday life. So that means you don't just become someone that dedicates 30 minutes of their week to pick up time. You know what I'm talking about. Those guys that go out and they have this dedicated time slot in their calendar to go out and meet new people. That's not what you should be doing. You need to be incorporating meeting new people into your life. It needs to become a lifestyle. If you're not sure how to do this, don't worry. I'm gonna show you some real life video examples of me doing this. I'm a busy guy. I don't always have time to dedicate to approaching. So what do I do? I incorporate it into my everyday life. You're about to exactly see how I maximize my time and I manage to go on dates with women four to five times a week. And by doing what I'm about to show you, I'm also able to live anxiety free. You're gonna take a peek into my average day. I had a cameraman follow me around while I just ran errands. Whenever I'm out running errands or uh, normal everyday activities, I'm always amusing myself by trolling other people. Now I don't mean trolling like what people do on the internet. I mean trolling in a playful, friendly way. It's exactly what I would do if I was just hanging out with Kong or if I was shooting the shit with my friends over a beer. Think about the last time that you and your friends were just hanging out and joking around with each other. That's the friendly trolling that I'm talking about. Sure, there are some people who will think I'm weird, but I don't give a fuck about those people. I'm not doing it to impress them. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this so I can start giving a fuck less and less and eventually get into God mode. I'm training myself to act at the very first sign of nervousness. So let's get into the first clip. Some backstory, I started to feel a little bit nervous so I approached the very first person I saw and just started spouting nonsense. That's the clip you're about to see. Hi. Hi. Do you guys do makeup for men? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. 
How many men come and get makeup? Um, actually, you know, quite a few that are in here. They have filmings or auditions. Oh, really? Kind of by makeup. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm trying to do. Basically, okay. um, I'm starting to like have a receding hairline. Okay. And I want my, like, I want to fake a hairline right here. Okay. Can you do this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That I sounds mean, like can, absolute nonsense. No way. Just, well, how? I mean, like, what do you want? You want? I want it like up. I want my eyebrows and my hairline to be like one. Just. Just a huge bar of hair right here. It's like a Indian thing. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, okay, let's try it. Let's try it right now. Let's do it. Do you have any pictures of it? What it um, look like? just imagine a shitload of like pubic hair on my forehead, like right here. So the only thing you can do is put. You need a like a stipple brush, which we don't have here. And I'm just, just I'm just kidding. Shadow. I'm oh. just joking. <laughs> I just thought you were cute and I wanted to say hi to you. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, I'm Jesse. Like, Jesse. Nice to meet you. You too. I was like, oh my god. I'm like, we don't have this stipple. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, but it I was, was like, wait a second, we're here to here. I was like, wait, you're I'm not that dumb. So what's happening here? First of all, I'm talking to someone who's just an average person, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is, is when I felt that nervous energy, I immediately approached the first person I saw. Also, I'm having fun. Not only am I making myself laugh, I'm making her laugh. Keep in mind that friendly trolling is not supposed to make anyone else feel embarrassed or bad. It's supposed to be an expression of your silly side so that you can spread positivity to other people. In this next clip, I see a cute girl walking by as I'm pulling out of the parking lot. Excuse me. I have a question. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm not from here. It's okay, I think you can help me. Um, how do I get directions to your phone number? To where? To your phone number. What is this for? My name is Jesse. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But seriously, how do I get directions? <laughs> Are you a 310, 323, 714? Do you think I was using this line thinking, this is definitely gonna get me laid. No, I was doing it because I thought it would be funny and I thought it would make the girl's day as well. Hypothetically, if I did get her number, that'd be awesome. But if I didn't, that would be cool too. Doesn't matter. After seeing this rejection, do you think she didn't give me her number because I suck as a human being? Of course not. There are probably a dozen reasons why she didn't give me her number. But the important thing is, I didn't view the rejection as a bad thing. In fact, it made me even happier and it brought me one step closer to being in social god mode. Now in this next clip, I see an attractive girl who's sitting with, I'm guessing, her mom. So I go and talk to both of them. Here, I start to get a little more serious with the interaction because the girl is extremely attractive. Excuse me, hi. I was just about to order, but um, I did not want to miss this opportunity to say hi to you. I just thought you were gorgeous. Um, my name is Jesse. I think this is kind of like a destiny thing. I don't really believe in that sort of thing, but... Um, your face, I'm assuming it's yes, mom. Don't care. I'm mom. Do you nice mind if I, you. do you mind if I just talk to her for two seconds? You can talk to her, that's okay. fine. Have a seat, can I? Cool. There's not much room, but I will sit down. Um, I have to go in a second, but... Um, what is your favorite color? Um, I don't really have one. Okay, I'll just think blue. <laughs> just blue. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite drink? This is very important stuff, by the way. Okay. Um, Coke. Coke. Yes. Okay. That, not diet, but okay. That's good. <laughs> not diet. Um, no. Do you believe in horoscopes? Horoscope? Yeah. Yeah, actually. Deal breaker. What sign are you? No, I hate horoscopes. Oh, really? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well, she just does them for fun. She doesn't believe in it. Okay. I do them for fun. I don't well, you know what? I'm willing to be like lenient here. That's cool. <laughs> so I didn't get her number, but that doesn't matter. What matters is I'm constantly putting myself out there and sporadically interacting with people throughout the day. If I make a connection with someone, awesome. If not, that's awesome too. In these next two clips, you're gonna see me get two phone numbers. This happened back to back in the span of 25 minutes. That is an awesome roller backpack. What's it? Purple. Oh, thank you. That's really cool looking. <laughs> it's like, have you, me a while, so. <laughs> have you seen like those, those guys with the really pimped out cars? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is like a <laughs> pimped mind. out, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to Are meet you me. like trying to get to a hotel or something? Yeah. Ah, I see. <laughs> Let me guess. Um, yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria. Just kidding. Australia. <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand. How annoyed do people from New Zealand get? No, you got it. You got 
bit close, close enough. <laughs> is that really close enough? Yeah, it I is. always get asked in Australia, yeah, or English, but usually Australian. Are you into design? Design? Yeah, mm. art. You're wearing like 40 million different colors. Your face is cute, I had to say hi to you. Um, okay. What are you doing later tonight? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Listen, I'm having a party. Yeah. Uh, I live You should come. At the very least, I'll send you a text and you can decide from there. Okay. Is that cool? Okay. Okay. What is your number? Um, 305. 305. Okay, I'll send you a text and uh, we can go from there. Do you remember my name? No. Jesse. Jesse, that's right. Okay. Very nice to meet you again. Yeah. All right, high five. All right then, so yeah, thank Enjoy you. your Bye. face and your backpack and all that stuff. Excuse me. Hi. Do you know which bus stop this is? Sorry? Do you know where this bus stop is going? Uh, depends which bus. I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I just thought you were cute. I had to say hi to you. I'm Jesse. Yes. What is that? What? what Polish. Name. Polish. What, yeah. are you, what are you doing in LA? Well, just visiting. For how long? For a couple of months. You're visiting friends for a couple of months. Oh, well, yeah. In the meantime, I'm working on so a little bit. How do you like it? You love it? Yeah. What are you working? Hold on, let me guess. Um, fashion. Retail. Yeah, restaurant actually. Which one? It's like Mediterranean one. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I just saw you and I thought, you know, her face is great. Thanks, you're I'm so gonna nice. say hi to her. What is your number? Mine? Yeah. 720. 720. So you're Polish? Yep. How do you say hello in Polish? Cześć. Cześć? Uh -huh. Cześć. Pretty close. Oh, <laughs> close enough. All right. Yes. Very nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Enjoy your day. You too. Thanks. So now you know what an average day for me looks like. As I'm doing my everyday things, I'm also talking to a lot of people. Some people I talk to reject me, not a big deal. The point is by putting myself out there and constantly being in a situation where I can connect with somebody, I'm able to get roughly one date per day. Not too bad considering I don't spend a bunch of time doing it. Again, this is all during my normal everyday activities. The only reason this is possible is because I've trained myself to interpret nervousness as a good thing. Now, whenever I feel slightly nervous, I use that as a cue to go and talk to someone. If you constantly interact with people as you just move throughout your day, you'll be able to do this too. Not only will you meet a bunch of women and get an insane number of dates, but you'll also be able to live an anxiety-free life because you're constantly pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And here's the best part. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. So the next time you think to yourself, I'm too nervous, or she looks too busy, or I don't have time to talk to her, I want you to remember this video. Remember that all those excuses are just byproducts of your anxiety and your fear of rejection. If you can rewire how your brain perceives those things, you will be in a much better place. And the only way to do that is by using that nervousness and anxiety as a signal to take action, as a signal to walk towards her and say something. And that's actually gonna be my challenge to you. After this video, go out and just talk to one person. The moment you feel anxious or nervous, I want you to use that energy and redirect it towards taking action. So right when you feel nervous, just immediately say hi to someone. That's it, no pressure, just say hi. In fact, if you only said that one word, I'll be happy. So do that and then report back to me in the comments and let me know how it went. Tell me what you were thinking, what you were feeling as you did it, and I'll be very active in the comments responding to as many as I can. Remember, use your nervousness to your advantage. I'll see you next week. So if you liked what you just saw, I want to tell you that we have hundreds of other videos in Project Go that are even better than that. We show you real life footage of us doing exactly what we preach because frankly, I hate it when people try to tell me to do something without them proving they can do it first. In Project Go, we are big believers in observational learning. If you don't know what that means, that is essentially learning that is done through observing others. Recent research in neuroscience has shown that if you watch someone else doing something, the same mirror neurons fire off in your brain as if you were actually doing it yourself. 
Think about it like this. When you see someone doing something awkward or embarrassing, you start to feel awkward or embarrassed yourself. Similarly, if you see someone doing something confident or ballsy, you also start to feel confident and ballsy even though you're not the one actually doing it. Just by watching someone else do it, you're subconsciously learning how to do it yourself. And then when you're in that situation in the future, you'll have a huge head start. In Project Go, we use observational learning to prepare you for every single situation you can encounter. From how to attract a shy girl, and how to never run out of things to say, how to pick up girls at the gym, and so much more. After you see and hear how we handle all these different situations, it'll be so easy for you to replicate that success for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now here's the big news. Starting Friday, November 27th, which is today, we'll be offering a special Black Friday deal of 50% off your first month of Project Go. Go. Make sure you go to simplepickup.com slash Black Friday. Enter your email and we will send you a personalized coupon code so that you can get 50% off your first month. Frankly, I can't believe we're doing this. I think Project O is worth 10 times what we charge for it, but it's Black Friday, so fuck it. After you sign up for Project O today, you will see us doing things that you never even thought possible. And then by using observational learning, you will also be able to have crazy adventures with women throughout your life. In fact, we're so confident this is gonna be a game changer for you that we are gonna give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. This is crazy. 50% off your first month and a 30-day money-back guarantee. I mean, I can't get better than that. If you're not happy with Project Go, just email us and no questions asked, we will give you a refund. In fact, if you don't think Project Go is worth 10 times what you're paying for it, ask for a refund. That's how confident we are that Project Go is something that is truly life-changing. Project Go is a community of badasses. We have people on our private forum that have watched the videos and implemented what they learned and turned their lives completely around. They went from being socially anxious video game nerds to guys that have so many dates that they don't even know how to schedule them all. The videos that we have are gonna inspire you to take action and the community is going to support you throughout your journey. And again, the community is filled with incredible people. Shout out to Aaron Taylor. You're awesome, dude. We never offer discounts on Project Go. It's just not something we do because it's too valuable of a course. This is one of the rare times we're doing it, and if you don't take advantage of it, I don't even know what to tell you. So go to simplepickup.com slash Black Friday, and we'll see you inside Project Go.